about that today as well. I, of course, am doing this for free, and I'm hardly equal, but that's another story. Please. Uh, Selena also has a video, before I let her speak, has a video which she's done herself. She's sung for the first time. It's her debut single. It's called Welcome. Which Good everyone. Today is a very important day for me. The first day I would say was the day my sons were born. And then today, because it is the beginning of a new movement. When we talk about a campaign, you know, to promote a cause, it's never easy. Because you don't just combat discrimination. You don't just combat discrimination by just changing the laws or changing, uh, the changing policies. You combat discrimination by changing the heart and the mind and the soul. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, there's a lot of people here today. We're going to talk a lot about gay rights. We're going to talk about LGBT. We're going to talk about homophobia. I think in all of this, there's just one thing that I think is very, very important for everyone to take away. What we're talking about today are human rights. We're talking about basic human rights. We're talking about not discriminating against people based on the way that they look, based on their sexual orientation, based on who they choose to be in a relationship with. These are basic human rights. And in the midst of all this, there will be talks on morality, on legality. I think the important takeaway is this. Thank you. I'm not going to take up any more time. Thank you, Imran. Thank you so much for coming here. I can see we have an audience which is exactly like my uh, grandfather's funeral. It doesn't take place in open court. And for the first time, these are the third of the curated petition which has been held in the Supreme Court. And we are hoping that it will go our way. But keep uh, all of you, just keep your, uh, you know, your sharp and uh, so that, you know, everything goes our way. Thank you very much. Okay. And you feel uh, positive? I always said at the court also 15th is a lucky day for India and it has been lucky when I came I was inside the court and when we were walking out Ernest is one of the petitioners who is here with me the best thing what I feel about R is that still we have won the halfway and we are the only sexual minority which is visible transgender word I don't go with it I'm a hijra and I stick to my word we come under the umbrella of the transgenders, and there are transgenders in India too. And I believe in my culture. And in this whole region, I just said uh, two months ago at a UN website of UN AIDS, when we were dealing with the Asia Pacific Transgender Network, this is the high time that the government, the state and the federal government start taking the responsibility of sexual minority people, immaterial, whether they are gay, lesbian, transgender, or in this region of Asia Pacific, like we have hijre in Asia Pacific, mein bahut sare countries ke paas, there are many other minorities like me of transgenders. There are baklas, there are varias, there are this. So this is the right time. And the judiciary has literally told the government, federal and state of Union of India, to respond in six months. And the curative petition which is there. I have always found it ludicrous that a point of discussion, but particularly when you're talking about LGBT issues, is the, the, for some reason the first knee-jerk reaction is everyone says, are you gay? Why are you talking about this? Because conceivably there could be no other reason for you to be concerned <laughs> about someone else. And uh, it, it, it's something that came up shortly after we did the video. A, a, a lot of media people asked me that, you know, aren't you afraid that people will, will think that you're gay? I'm like, okay, firstly, that's irrelevant. You're just pretty, Imran. You're not gay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So, yeah, my, I, I, I never quite knew how to answer that question. I, I'm still not really sure how to answer the question because in the first place, it's not relevant. Whether I'm gay or I'm not gay, it's, that's, that's not the point. The point is, what am I saying? What are we actually talking about here? Is there merit there? It, it becomes a kind of a distraction technique for people to ignore what you're actually right. talking about. The gossip but, is more important. Yeah, by, by creating a tamasha and by, by, by creating a distraction, yeah. Yeah. So I, I try to stay away from that entirely. I said, look, look at what we're, we're talking about. Look at the actual issue. Okay, but coming back to the point of the video, the fact that, you know, you decided to go, I, I know you've, another important thing was uh, the right to drink, but we won't get into that. It's another platform. But uh, the fact that you went out there and did that, is there some uh, personal reason? Is, were you motivated in some way without uh, asking about your sexual orientation? What, what, what makes Imran Khan do this while the others don't seem to do this? Again, I'm not pointing fingers, but many of them want to be 
uh, away from controversy, or don't want to get involved, don't want to get into the ring, so to speak. That again is something that has never really entered into my thought process. It's it's something that I feel strongly about, and I feel specifically with LGBT rights and issues. This is some, uh, this is an area where we in India are dragging our feet, and we're setting ourselves up for embarrassment on the world stage. If you look around the world, uh, the, the debate is at a much higher level, and there is a greater degree of, of freedom and liberty. As many people ask me, why this cause? Why not something else? It's you, you stand up for something only because you feel it from here. You can't just change people's attitudes with just laws and policies. You have to change people's attitudes from the heart and the mind also. And I had to change my attitude first because I started in this... Uh, industry at a very young age of 16 and I my mentors the people who taught me everything that I am today even to something as simple as putting an eyeliner were people who there were people who stood by me in fact today I am here because of transgender makeup artists who actually sent my application for Miss India I ended up winning he again said that he, section 377 is an issue in which has to be dealt and it has to go and Congress, even right, Mahila Congress President um, Shobha Oja. And basically with politicians, it's not only about Congress and every other party, it's still in Maharashtra, AAP, Secretary, Mr. Oh, I forget their name, and there's a lady who's a secretary and a president in Maharashtra. They both, even when our quoting, uh, quotes rule, uh, 15th April, they gave me a call and they said, we are totally with this whole issue and for section 377 we will be there. Basically, there are many in BJP, many people are quiet, but for me, it's individual, it's not party lines. It, in, it is individual politicians who can make difference. Sure. And I'm sorry, yes. I'm cutting you. I'm just asking, uh, aren't you a little worried, supposing the party who is not so much in favor of gay rights coming in, uh, will, uh, you know, the attention that, uh, the, the kind of work that you've done till now for gay rights will all be washed away because if they don't believe yeah. it. Don't worry, people like Ashok Rao Kavi, 